Same thing as last couple videos. Everything sprayed down with chemical. Um, rinse it out. Got all the cleaner out now. Just running it through with some water. And then uh, once this is all done, I can put some zip ties on them wires there. Close this up. Put all this back together. Head inside. Get the inside done. And um, yeah, that should be it for this uh, for this customer. But we'll see. Hopefully nothing happens while I'm here. All right, that's it for this outdoor unit. Um, all I've got to do is pack all this stuff up out here, head inside, get the indoor unit done, and then I can uh, get out of here just in time to make it to the next call. So hopefully there's nothing um, too crazy going on upstairs, but they're good out here now. Some of these, I don't know why, but it feels like you can twist them on and they go on like just fine. And then, like, see that? I, bar I barely twisted this thing with this. But some of them, when you, you try and twist them on by hand, they just don't do anything. And you have these, this thing. You can't see how they spin it no more. Okay, cool. done. So I'll pack most of this up, head inside, and then um, see you guys upstairs, I guess. Now, so I'm just going to wet this rag a little bit. Because um, I left that spray downstairs. Wet this rag just a little bit. because it had a clogged drain so we'll put like six in you go all the way to this side um okay and i'm gonna keep wiping stuff down here like the sides and everything need to be wiped down um and i'll talk to them about that see if that's something they want see if there's some, that's something they care about at all or not if they want to get like a uv system or something I think I already said this, I don't love them just because they end up really messing up like the wires and the fan blade and stuff, but I do seem to do a good job at keeping this from happening. So I don't know, I guess just what matters more. And like the sticker and everything gets faded and this one. And then, then like the whole, this whole metal piece and this all ends up getting like I don't know what the term is for it, like washed out or something like that. And you like slide your finger across it, it comes off just white. Um, but I'm gonna keep cleaning here for a little bit and then I'll pick up the camera again once I'm all done. And wires over there are all dirty. Okay, so got the panels off. 
I turned the um, thermostat to heat really quick. I just wanted to see if the outdoor unit would uh, run in heat mode, and it is. So now we're gonna shut this thermostat off. Uh, modes. Oh, I hit the arrow. There we go, mode. Up, oh, off. There we go. Off. Very nice. Oh, man. Very shiny thermostat. Mirror. Got a bit of slime in the pan. Um, a bit of water in that flusher, so I need to suck up this vacuum here. rag is for but the um I left that jar open to the like cleaning wipes that I've gotten those are all dried up now so I'm just gonna wet this rag a little bit um because I left that spray downstairs wet this rag just done wiping everything down I just gotta do like down here and stuff try to wipe off those wires as much as I can some of this stuff it's not really coming off super easy um wipe down these ones too but really quick I just want to look and see if anything I gotta climb in here I didn't bring this there we go I can see. Okay. Let's see if I see anything crazy. Apart from these wires being uh, nasty. Not really. Everything seems fine. Okay, back to cleaning then finish up this side down here and probably try and go over these wires again because man that's crazy and then wipe these down okay um so finish wiping everything down um the i can't remember if i recorded it or not i don't think i did but the blower wheel is it just a bit dirty enough for me to have a bit of concern for it um i don't really have time to pull the thing out so i just wiped the blades as best i can with just this rag um and i've got all this black stuff on it same thing from like the um top of the coil and the fan and the sides of the unit and the wires and all that stuff um but pretty much done here um What's that face? I didn't notice this. Don't call them. Call us. Um, 
tablets in the pan, coils clean, filters clean. They have, I looked up the model number for this and the filter size that I got was I think 19, um, 19 and a half by 21, I think is what it popped up. Um, they've got a 20 by 20 in there, which it might work. Um, I know that there's some of these carrier units you can do slightly different filter sizes and, and you know, it seems to be working because it's not, you know, they don't have like a filthy coil, so. But I told them I prefer them to get the, the one that I can find that this unit needs. Um, but that's up to them. Um, I think the only thing I've got left to do, I need to pour some hot water down this drain here. Jug. Jug, 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 jug. Apple juice jug. Get some hot water in this thing. straight down on pour it, you know, I can pour it quick. If this thing's not gonna be full of water, I just suck it out. So I'll do that probably like two more times. It'll be done. Um you guys like the video? Please give it a like. Thanks for watching. If you live in Central Florida and you want the you know same deal with this maintenance, September promo that number right there. And this customer got the maintenance, the capacitor, um, you know, cleaning of everything, whatnot, um, the bit of refrigerant, and they're not gonna have to pay for any of this. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. So if you want the same deal, like I said, just get that number right there, call 407-375-900. Thanks for watching.